Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tommy Gomi, and today we are back for another statue tutorial. Again, continue with the FNAF 6 theme. Today we are doing Lefty, which is the animatronic, which is, of course, very similar to Freddy, but is left handed and has a broken eye, I guess you can say. And it's also grey and black, so that's kind of the small differences between it. So, because of that, this statue is going to be very, very similar to the previous tutorial I did, which was the Rockstar Freddy. It's basically the same design, just different colours and slight variations, such as the arm holding the microphone. So again, if you do enjoy this, definitely consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, and also let me know down in the comments below which characters you want to see next. Of course, I've got a bunch of them lined up, a bunch of them designed and ready to go. I want to know which ones you guys want to see. So, let me know, and again, I'll try and get them out as soon as possible, trying to get one out every two or three days, so stay tuned for that, and also hit the notification bell if you do enjoy this kind of content, because I've noticed recently a lot of you guys aren't even seeing this videos in your sub box, so uh, that's probably the best way to go about counteracting that. Or, alternatively, follow me on Twitter, at Games. I tweet out every time I upload. So yeah, that's kind of the options. Hopefully you do one of them, uh, because YouTube has been a bit peculiar recently. But anyways, without waffling anymore, let's get straight into the tutorial. So, the blocks you're going to need are the following. You'll need black concrete, grey concrete, red concrete, cyan terracotta, yellow concrete, yellow wool, red wool, light grey concrete powder, again, bear in mind that's the powder, stone brick slabs, block of quartz, quartz slabs, dark oak wood slab, cobblestone wall, black carpet, and also red carpet. So if you want to grab the unboxing into your inventory, that'll be great. And then we can get straight into building. Okie dokie. So, just like normal, we're going to start off by building the legs, we'll work our way from there. So the legs are 12 tall and 8 wide, go ahead and find a nice empty space, as you can see that's not an issue for me. And we're going to start with the first layer. So again, each layer is 8 wide, there's 12 layers in total, we're going to be building left to right. So the first layer is one black concrete, one grey concrete, one black, two grey, black, grey, black. So that is layer number one. Layer number two is the exact same. So black, grey, black, grey, grey, black, grey, black. So that is two layers of the exact same. Layer number three and layer number four is going to be eight grey concrete. So very, very simple. Just two layers of solid eight grey concrete. And we're going to cap that up with layer number five, which is eight black concrete. So, so far, so good. Very, very easy. Layer number six is going to be one grey concrete, two red, two grey, two red, one grey. And essentially what this is representing is the feet. This is kind of the joint going into the knees. And then this is the kneecap part, which on the other design, I believe was a purple color. On this one, it's a red color. So that's what that is. Now, technically what you could do is if you want to be 100% accurate, the red does go into the joint. So you'd have something that looks like this. However, personally, I don't like the look of that. So I'd rather have the red resting on top of the black. So that is the first six layers. The seventh layer and the eighth layer is going to be eight grey concrete. So that's two layers, again, of eight grey concrete. And on top of that, we're going to place one layer of three grey concrete, two black concrete, and three grey concrete. So that's going to be your ninth layer. For your tenth layer, we're going to do two grey concrete, one black concrete, two grey, one black, two grey. That's your tenth layer. Again, after every single layer, as you can see, I'm backing up, giving you guys the opportunity to pause. Please do take those opportunities. Layer number 11 is going to be two black concrete, four grey, and two black. And then layer number 12, the final layer, is going to be one black, six grey, and one black. And as you can see, once you've got that, that is a 12 by 8 and hopefully it looks something like this. If it doesn't, go back in the video, see if things haven't gone quite to plan, but if it does, perfect, we're now ready to move on. So again, just to recap, that's 12 blocks tall and 8 blocks wide, and that is the front side of the legs complete. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to do now is work on the body. The body, just like the legs, is 12 by 8, and again, we're going to do the same kind of procedure, which is left to right. So the first layer is going to be 8 grey concrete, nice and simple. However, what we're going to do is we're actually going to extend 4 blocks to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, again using grey concrete, so it's overhanging the side of the statue, and what this is doing is marking out where the right arm, or in this case our left arm, but it's going to be lefty's right arm, is going to be. So as you can see, it will look like this, 4 blocks to the left, that's going to be where we're going to build, from our perspective, the left arm. Now on the right side, where his left arm is going to be, we're not going to place anything, we're just going to leave that, and the reason is because for the left arm, or <laughs> this is going to get confusing, so for his left arm, or 
our right arm from our perspective, we're going to be building a dynamic pose just like we did on the Rockstar Freddy. So we're going to leave that blank and we'll come back to that later on. But anyways, continuing now with the body, we're going to leave the arm, we'll come back to that also later on. We're going to continue, we place on the second layer, so starting from here, two grey concrete, four cyan terracotta, and two grey concrete. Now, the next layer, we're going to do one grey concrete, six cyan terracotta, and one grey concrete. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that until um, I say to stop, which will be the seventh layer, I believe. So we're going to do one. So on top of the original layer, we do one, two, if I can place the blocks correctly, three, four, five, and then a sixth layer. So that is seven layers in total, as you can see. So if I back up, it should currently look something like this. So just to recap, that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth layer complete. For the tenth layer, we're going to do three grey concrete. Or in fact, let's do two grey concrete just to make it equal. Four cyan terracotta and two grey concrete. So that's layer number 10. Layer number 11 and also layer number 12, we're going to go ahead and just do two layers of eight grey concrete. And that brings you all the way up to the top. That is, again, a 12 by 8. And as you can see, essentially, it's one layer of grey. Then we break out into this small kind of pattern, the chest area. So the second layer is two grey, four cyan, two grey. We then have seven layers of one grey, uh, six cyan, one grey. Then for the tenth layer, two grey, four cyan, two grey. And then the eleventh and twelfth is going to be eight grey. So it's as simple as that. Again, feel free to pause. Now, that doesn't look the best, so what we're going to do is, of course, add some 3D effects. First off being the bow tie, second off being the star which appears in the center of his chest. So, for the bow tie, what we're going to do is go to the top left corner, count one over to the right, and we're going to place one, two, three red uh, concrete in a row like this. So, on the second block, and we're going to go down twice. What we're then going to do is, on the right side, we do the exact same. So, we go to the top right corner, we're going to leave one block, place one, two, three in a row and that is again red concrete now on the top side and the lower side on the left one we're going to go one to right and on the right we go one to left so we're bringing it in towards each other and that gives you a c-shape and a backward c-shape in the middle we're going to sandwich one red wall on either side and in between the two red walls we're going to place two red concrete and that gives you a shape that looks like this and that's going to be your bow tie now, for the star, what we're going to do is come to this middle area here, so the part that joins both sides together, and we're going to count down one, two, and on the third block, on the left side, we're going to place one yellow concrete, so in line with this left one, and in line with the right one, we're going to place one yellow wall. Now, underneath the yellow concrete, we're going to place another yellow concrete, and we're going to go to the left using, uh, or we're going to place one yellow wall and go to the left using one yellow concrete. On this side, we're going to place a yellow wall and go to the right one using yellow wall again. So it ends up giving you a shape that looks like this. Now in the two center ones, the two yellow wall, on the left one, underneath it, we're going to place one yellow concrete. And on the right one, we place a yellow wall. And coming down diagonal to the left on this side here, we're going to place one yellow wall. Down diagonal to the right, we're going to place one yellow concrete. And it gives you a star shape, which looks like this. As you can see, it's got a bit of shading to it with the yellow concrete, mainly yellow wall. But that is the star in the center of his chest. Now of course, I said this before, ideally we'd want the middle part to be a bit more pointy, but we can't really do that because we're a bit restricted by the fact this is indeed Minecraft, it's blocky, so that's the best we're going to get, unfortunately, but again, it does signify a star. So that is the 3D effects complete. If you want to pause, again, you are more than welcome to do so, and now we're going to start working on the arm. So for the arm, the arm is going to be 12 tall and 4 wide. Of course, we start the 13th layer of the build. We go four blocks to the left using grey concrete. If you haven't already done that, please do that now. If you have done that, perfect. You're now ready to move on. So again, as I just mentioned, it's 12 by 4. So that's 12 layers of 4. So the first layer, already complete, is 4 grey concrete. On top of that, we're going to place two more layers of grey concrete. So that is currently three layers of grey concrete. And that's the first three layers complete. For the fourth layer, we're going to do a layer of four black concrete. And on top of that, we're going to do three layers of grey concrete. To cap that off, we do one layer of black concrete, and then we're going to bring it all the way up to the top using four more layers of grey concrete, and that gives you a shape that looks like this. Of course, that's a 12 by 4 rectangle, 
made up of three layers of grey, one layer of black, three layers of grey, one layer of black, and four layers of grey. Now each layer again is four wide, so take that as you will. Again, if you want to, you're more than welcome to pause. Feel free to go back in the video, of course, because that is relatively fast, I've just said that, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. So you should currently have something that looks like this. Of course, we're missing the right arm, or in his case, his left arm, uh, but we'll get to that later on in the build. For now, we're going to start working on the sides of the statue and actually making it 3D. So head on round to the left side, to this black concrete here, we're going to expand 1, 2, 3 to the left using grey concrete. Essentially what we're doing for the sides is making it 12 by 4, so 12 tall, 4 wide. However, point of interest, this row here is already done, that's the fourth block complete of every row, which means we're only placing 3 blocks on every row, because 3 plus 1 equals 4, and that's going to give us our 12 by 4. So hopefully that makes sense. So the first 4 layers is going to be grey concrete, so we place 3 grey concrete on 4 layers. For the fifth layer we place 3 black concrete. And on top of that, we're going to do five more layers of grey concrete. Now, that will bring us to the 11th layer, the second to last layer. So we're going to place three black concrete on the 11th layer. And for the 12th layer, slightly different, we're going to do one black concrete and then two grey concrete. So it gives you a shape that looks like this. Again, it's kind of to link in with the front shape, where it kind of loops down in, a, in the uh, kind of pelvis region. So this is his kind of thighs, and then this is his upper body. So... Head on looks like this, and from a corner angle like this, and that is a 12 by 4 rectangle. Now, what we're going to do is do the side of the arm, but before we do that, we have to come around to the rear side and build a platform. So if you come to the bottom layer of the arm, so this layer here, what we're going to do is expand 1, 2, 3, all the way across, backwards, using grey concrete, and if you come below, you'll notice that's now a 4x4 four four platform. Essentially, what this is doing is making it so we don't have a hole in the bottom of the hand. If you don't do that later on in the statue, you'll have something that looks like this at the bottom, and you'll be able to see into the statue, and it won't look too good. So make sure you've got this. Once you've got that, if you come to the side of the arm, you'll have something that looks like this. That's a backwards L shape, and again, it's a 12x4, similar to what we had with the side of the leg. Now, just like before, four flare is already done, so we're only placing three blocks per layer. So let's begin. Essentially, for this, it's just a matching up game. So whatever block is here is what we're going to build. So the first three layers, including the one we just placed, is grey concrete. The fourth layer is going to be black concrete. On top of that, we place three more layers of grey concrete, a layer of black concrete, and then four layers of grey concrete to bring us all the way up to the top. And once you've done that, top by four, looks like this, head on. And from a corner angle, like this. So, so far, so good. Very, very simple. That is the left side of the build. Now, coming around to the right side, or again, lefties left, we're going to come around to the side of the leg, and it's very similar. In fact, it's the exact same at this point. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right, exact same applies, top by 4, and we're going to go up layer by layer. So the first four layers is going to be grey concrete, as you can see. The fifth layer, we place black concrete, and on top of that, we place five layers of grey concrete. Once you get to the 11th layer, which is this layer here, we're going to place three black concrete. And for the 12th layer, we're going to place two grey, one black. And that's your 12 by 4 for the side of the leg complete. Now, this is normally where we would move on to the arm. However, there isn't an arm. So what we're going to do instead is simply build up 12 using grey concrete all the way across. So literally just 12 grey concrete all the way across. And it ends up looking like this. So that's now 24 tall and four blocks wide, as you can see. And that's essentially all you need to do. So all you do is count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, using gray concrete all the way, and that is your shape. So this is the right side, or technically his left, again, just to reiterate that, and it's 24 tall and four wide. So once you've done that, what we're gonna do is come to the top, and, or should I say the behind, you'll notice it's not as complete. It's a bit empty and not looking too good. So what we're going to do now is focus on making sure that it looks a bit nicer, a bit more complete, and then we'll move on to the arms, and then ultimately the head. So, the first point, of course, is the rear side of the legs. Now, the rear side of the legs, much like the front side, is a 12 by 8. However, the left side and the right side already has a row complete. That's two rows complete. 8 minus 2 equals 6, so we've got to place 6 blocks per layer. So the first 4 layers is simply going to be linking left side to right side by placing 6 grey concrete. So again, I repeat that, the first 4 layers is 6 
grey concrete. The fifth layer is going to be six black concrete. On top of this, we're going to do three layers of six grey concrete. So again, three layers of six grey concrete. And this so far is the eighth layer. The ninth layer is going to be two grey concrete, two black, two grey. The tenth layer is going to be one grey, one black, two grey, one black, one grey. Again, that's the tenth layer. The eleventh layer, if you'd noticed, exact same as the front side, one black, four grey, one black. And then the twelfth and final layer is going to be six grey. So that is a 12 by 8, and that's the rear side of the legs complete. As simple as that. So, you thought that was simple? It gets even easier. We're now going to move on to the rear side of the body. So the rear side of the body is a 12 by 8 of grey concrete. It's as simple as that. So all we do is just build up 12 all the way across. So each time just going up and down, up and down, up and down, building 12. And we're only going to have to do that for 7 layers because the first layer is already done from the existing side that we built before so we're going to do seven rows of 12 and that will join together and give us our 12 by 8 again just solid gray concrete because we can't actually see the rear of the character in the game we're just going to assume it's plain simple as that so that is the rear side of the body now the rear side of the existing arm exact same pattern again so again 12 by 4 fourth layer complete so we're placing three blocks the first three layers is gray concrete the fourth layer is black concrete three layers of grey, one layer of black, and then four layers of grey. Now hopefully, I'm not rushing you guys for it too much, but as you can see, it just matches up with the already existing pattern there. So if you've already got the existing pattern, you're good to go. It's just a case of matching up. For the final stage of this, we're going to go ahead and fill in the shoulders. So again, just using grey concrete. And once you've done that, that is the main majority of the body of the statue complete, and you're now ready to move on to his left arm or in this case again our right arm okie dokie but before we do that what we're going to do is we're going to have a little spin around the statue make sure everyone's up to the same point so what we're going to do is i'm going to come to each specific part of the statue so for example this is the front side of the legs i'm going to state it's the front side of the legs i'm also going to state it's top eight and has no 3d effects once i say that that'll give you a few seconds of pause if you want to feel free if not just skip forwards in the video so, moving on up, we have the front side of the body. Again, that's 12 by 8. Does have 3D effects in the terms of the bow tie and the star. And then on the left side, we have the left arm, which is 12 by 4. Coming around to the left side, we have the left side of the leg. Again, that's 12 by 4. We have the underside of the hand, 4 by 4. And then the left side of the arm, again, 12 by 4. Coming around to the uh, right side, we got the right side of the leg, which is 12 by 4. The right side of the body, 12 by 4, and in total, that's 24 by 4. Coming around to the rear side, we have the rear side of the legs, that's 12 by 8. The rear side of the body, 12 by 8, and the rear side of the arm, 12 by 4. The final side is the shoulders, which is 16 by 4. In fact, it's not 16 by 4, I just lied to you, it's 12 by 4, because of course we're missing the other arm. So 12 wide, 4 thick, and that is the statue so far. So hopefully you have everything looking like this. And what that now means is we're now ready to move on to the arm, this arm. So, of course, the lefty is called lefty because of his left arm. So if you look from his perspective, this is his left arm, just to make that clear. So what we're going to do is come to the right side, and we're going to come to the top left corner. From here, we're going to count one over to the right, and we're going to place a grey concrete. This is our starter point. It's very key that we have this. So, what we're going to do is from this starter point, we're going to go down diagonal to the right three times using grey concrete. So that's one, two, and three. The third block should extend one block over the edge. From here, what we're going to do is then go down diagonal to the left using black concrete. And from this black concrete, we're going to go up diagonal uh, three times. So one, two, three. So we now have a line which looks like this. Now, from this lower black concrete, we're going to continue going down diagonal using grey concrete three more times. So that's one, two three and from here we're going to extend out one two three to the left from this point we're going to place one more black concrete and then three more gray so that's one two three again so as you can see we have a row of four one three and then what we're going to do is build up one two three and work our way back towards this starter point or in this case of a black concrete right here so from this black concrete up the top, we're going to go down diagonal three times, one, two, 
and free using grey concrete, and you should now see it's on the same level or same height as this point we left off at. Going to the left, we're going to place one black concrete, two grey concrete, and it should link together like so. What we're then going to do is these two black concretes here, we're going to join them together by placing two in the middle. We now have a strip of four black concrete, and then go ahead and fill in the rest using grey concrete. So we have the outline, go ahead and fill all the middle area in with our grey concrete, and then we're ready to make it thicker. So this is the essential outline of the arm. This is the shape. Now I appreciate it is somewhat difficult to see because the background, of course, is grey concrete as well. But again, just a kind of pointer out, this is the starter block, it's one block over to the right, and then it goes down diagonal three times, this then goes down diagonal four times, extends three blocks to the left, one black, three blocks to the left, up three, um, then two blocks to the right, one black, one block to the right, and then up diagonal three times. So that's the general shape. So what we're going to do is now make this four blocks thick. So the way we do this is we go around the outline and we extend one, two, three outwards like so and make sure you match up color to color. So if it's black concrete, use black concrete. If it's gray, use gray. And you just do this all the way around the outline. It's as simple as that. And just like we did on the inside layer, once we've done that, we fill in the middle parts matching again with the colors. But again, it takes a second. So bear with me whilst I go around. Hopefully you again are doing the exact same. So you end up with something that looks like this. Now, just like before, you match up black to black and then fill in the rest with grey. And of course, make sure that these two blacks here also connect diagonally in the middle. Again, go ahead and continue filling in the rest with grey concrete and you've got yourself the majority of your arm. The reason I say the majority is because what we need to do is now go around to the front side, this part here, and fill in the two by two in the middle and once you've done that, you have now got your dynamic pose arm. It's now four blocks thick, as you can see, and sticks out like so. So that is the pose, the dynamic arm. Again, head on looks like this. And from the front side, looks like this. From the left side, like this. From the underside, like this. So again, hopefully you have that. It's pretty easy, but again, I just want to emphasize it's important that you get that right. Once you've done that, what we can do is now go ahead and add the microphone. So you come to the hand, to the front left corner, go in diagonal, place a yellow concrete. On the right side, go in diagonal, place a yellow concrete, and behind it, place two more. Now, on top of this, we're going to uh, place a 2x2 two two cube, so a 2x2x2 two by two by, uh, two cube, should I say, of light grey concrete powder. This is going to be like the actual mesh of the microphone, and this is the handle. Go ahead on the handle and on the upper half, get our stone brick slabs and place stone brick slabs all the way around. Again, on the upper half of the yellow, if you place it on the lower half, it will look like that. So don't do that. It doesn't look as good. Place it on the upper half and you'll have something that looks like this. So this is the microphone. This is the handle. This is kind of the rim that goes around it and separates them. Now, what we're going to do is match up the yellow here underneath. So we go to the front left corner. We're going to in diagonal, place a yellow. Right corner, in diagonal, place a yellow, and behind, place two more. And then underneath that, we're going to place a 2x2 two two of stone brick slabs. And as you can see, the reason we do that is it makes it look like he's holding the microphone and it's going through his hand. He's kind of clenching onto it. So that's what we got. Now, one thing you can do, I mentioned this in the previous tutorial, is you can punch out one of the rear corners of the slabs and bring it down, say, two or three using a concrete wall and essentially what that does is makes it look like it has like a cord or an antenna coming out the bottom and uh, just makes it look kind of cool but again I don't like that and the reason I don't like that if I can place the block and show you it looks fine from the front side or the corner side however if you come around to this side not so much so again it's up to you that's optional but personally I don't like it so uh, I'm gonna leave it out but with that said that is the arm complete and that is the body in total complete so again, I'll just fly around the corner so you can see that's what it looks like from a rear angle like this. So there should only be one block that overhangs on the rear side and on the front side, it's quite a few. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven on the front, one on the back. So that is the arm. Now, once you've done that, we're now ready to move on to the head. So what we're going to do is come to the front side and to the top left corner to the shoulder here. From here, we're going to count one two, three, four, and then on the fifth block, we're going to place a grey concrete and bring it four forward. So one, two, three, four. On the right side, we don't actually have to count because the arm doesn't count. So we start here. We're going to place one, 
and bring it four forward. So one, two, three, four. Now, go ahead and join side to side by placing four rows of six gray concrete in between, like so. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to extend it one layer out, but on this layer, on the fifth layer, we're going to leave one block. We place six gray concrete and we leave one block. So it's four blocks on the edge, four blocks on the edge, and five blocks in the middle. And that is again eight wide and four thick, five thick minus edges. Okay, so that's the front half. What we're then going to do is go around to the left side and expand one, two, three, four, five backwards. Same on this side, one, two, three, four, five backwards. Same as before, linked together by placing a six by two in the middle. And as you can see, that gives you a shape which looks something like this. Go ahead and fill this middle section in here. It doesn't really matter too much, um, but it just makes it look a bit better later on when we're building the inside of the mouth. Again, it's optional though. So that should be the shape you get. So from a corner angle, again like this, five block extension on the front side, two on the rear side. So what we're going to do is start building the sides. So we've got the left side, right side, front side, rear side. We're going to work on the sides first, aka the left side. So we're going to come to the left side. Now, what we're going to do is on the bottom left corner, we have this row of already existent grey concrete. We're going to build up two blocks using a random block. And then on the third block, we're going to place a grey concrete. Now, we punch out the middle two blocks. So what you now got is your first layer, two empty rows, and your fourth layer. And on this fourth layer, we're going to build seven blocks over to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's now eight wide. And what you'll see is that lines up with the second block overhang of this bottom part. Now, what we're going to do is, for this head section, it's going to be six blocks tall. So we're going to do another five layers on top of this. So that's one, two, three, four, and our fifth layer, number five. So it should now be six blocks tall, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight blocks wide. So as you can see, it looks like this. Now, the way we're going to connect them together is using cobblestone wall. So we're going to come to the bottom left corner. We're going to leave one, two, three. And on the fourth block, we're going to place two cobblestone walls, one on top of the other. We're then going to leave a two block gap. And we're going to grab our quartz slab. We're going to place one quartz slab on the third block. Next to that, we place a cobblestone wall on top of a cobblestone wall. And that will link up to the final block on the layer above. Next to that, we're then going to place another quartz slab and that is the left side complete. So it looks something like this. So you've got a row of um, 10 gray concrete as the first layer, a two block gap, and then a six tall by eight wide area connected by two areas of concrete wall. First one on the fourth block, and then the next one on the eighth. So again, it looks like this, and that is the left side. Now the good news is the right side is the exact same. So we come around to the right side, go to the right corner, build up two, and on the third block, place a grey concrete, punch out the two blocks below, and build seven blocks to the left. So simply, just go ahead and match up, and then place another, just like before, five layers on top of it. So it's now a six tall by eight wide area. So that's a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth layer. So it's six tall, eight wide. And just like before, we're going to build the concrete, uh, should I say, cobblestone walls. So we leave one, two, three block gap, fourth block, place two cobblestone wall, leave a one, two block gap, quartz slab, cobblestone wall, quartz slab. And it looks something like this. Again, exact same as the other side. And if you go around to the front side, you'll see it matches up perfectly. So what we're going to do is now grab ourselves our cyan terracotta. And on the lowest block here, the first one, we're going to bring it two forwards using cyan terracotta. And what we're then going to do is join them together in the middle, like so, by placing six uh, blocks of two layers. We're then going to bring it forwards once. We leave a one block gap and place another layer of six in the middle and leave a one block gap. So you now have an upper jaw area, which looks like this. And that, again, is the fourth layer of the build. So we've got the first one, second layer empty, third layer empty, and then this fourth layer right here. So this is upper jaw, lower jaw. Now... What we're going to do is, on the front side, on top of this upper jaw, we're going to build another layer. So on the top left corner, we're going to place a red concrete, six cyan terracotta, and one red concrete. In front of this, we're going to leave one block. We're going to place six cyan terracotta, leave one block. And in front of that, we're going to leave one block, place one, two black concrete, one cyan, one gap. 
as you can see, it ends up looking something like this. Now, technically speaking, Lefty does have kind of like freckles, so you could go ahead and add some buttons over this kind of area here and add some freckles. That's up to you. Personally, again, I'm not 100% sure whether I like them, um, so that's why I haven't really added them to the main design, but that's optional. So, back to the um, front, front face area here. So what we're going to do is behind the cyan terracotta, we're going to place two layers of six grey concrete just to cover it up. And then on top of this grey concrete, we're going to go into the kind of eye region. So for the eye region, which is essentially, if I count properly, one, two, three, four, five, the sixth layer, we're going to place one quartz, one yellow concrete, two grey concrete, one yellow concrete, and one quartz. Now, I've messed this up, sorry. I was doing this as if the right eye is the exact same as the left, which of course it isn't, my mistake. So we're going to place two black concrete. That just completely went past my mind there. That would have been awkward. So the next layer is going to be one quartz, one yellow, two grey, two black. Again, don't make the mistake I did of putting a second eye unless you want to. That's kind of an alternative design, I guess. Kind of cool. The next layer, which is the eighth layer, is going to be two red, two grey, two red, and then the final layer is going to be six grey. So it ends up looking something like this. Now, the final touch on this area here is in front of the red, on the upper half we're going to place two dark oak slabs on each one, as you can see, and that's just kind of giving the eyebrows and capping off the red, because otherwise the red would be too thick, this is kind of more of a highlight than it is actually part of the eye. So it ends up looking something like this. Now, the jaw right now it's looking a bit empty, so we're going to fix that. And the way we're going to fix this is by starting off by going to the bottom layer and to this front left corner right here, we're going to place one quartz slab, leave a four block gap and place one quartz slab. And on the second layer, so we're going to go in diagonal, leave this block, we're going to place two, leave one block. And it ends up looking like this. Now on the upper layer, we're going to come to this cyan um, terracotta here. So this block I'm looking at, not the front layer, diagonal from it, we're going to place one. We're then going to go forwards diagonal, Place one, leave a two block gap, one, one block gap, diagonal, and there. So that's the four blocks, as you can see. So we start off with this one here. We then go to the second block at the front, the second to last block at the front, and then this block on the corner. Now, just like we did on the lower layer, we're going to go in diagonal here. So from this block, we go diagonal. From this block, we go diagonal. Place another slab, like so, and that's the inside of the mouth, or at least the teeth area, complete. Now, before we work on the rest of the inside of the jaw, we're going to go around to the rear side of the head and start linking everything together. So, we've got the first layer here, which is grey. We've then got a two-block gap, and then we've got this layer. So we've got the left side and the right side. Go ahead and join it together using six grey concrete. And what you're then going to do is go ahead and fill this whole area in here, also using grey concrete, because otherwise the inside of his head is going to be hollow, and if you're standing in the mouth, you'll be able to see into the actual head. So go ahead and fill it in, and as you can see what that does, it kind of makes the jaw area a bit more enclosed and a bit more uh, cramped. Now, going back to the rear side, what we're going to do is, on top of this, we're going to place another five layers of six grey concrete. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That brings you all the way up to the top. So that's now a six tall by eight wide area, or nine layers in total. And then what we're going to do is just like we did on the sides, so we're going to join them together with concrete or should I say cobblestone walls. Um, so we get our cobblestone wall. We come to the second block on the left, place two cobblestone walls. We also come to the seventh block, place two cobblestone walls. And it ends up looking like this. And that is the rear side of the head. Now, in terms of the top part of the head, we're going to go ahead and I feel like I said that as a bit of a pun there. I didn't. We're going to go ahead and fill it in with grey concrete, simply like this. That gives you a nice smooth platform, and that's now ready to build the hat and the ears, but we'll get to that in a second. And the reason we'll get to that in a second is because we need to finish off the inside of the mouth. So, what we've got so far for the head, I'll do a little spin around first. This is the front side. We've got the left side, the rear side, and the right side. Now, if we go into the actual head itself, on this lower part, it's kind of just grey, and doesn't look like a mouth. So what we're going to do is do an outline using black carpet all the way around on the edge. So essentially, next to this quartz slab here, we're going to do a row of six black carpet, and we're going to do this all the way until the second to last layer. So we're doing it all the way back 
until we hit the second to last layer. And the reason you'll notice the second to last layer is if you're being obstructed by the cobblestone wall. So what you want is a solid ring going around the outside and you want these blocks here also um, to be black carpet. So place two black carpets either side of the quartz slabs in the middle and behind the quartz slabs place a 2x2 two two of red carpet which is doing that as a little tongue so it's a bit goofy. What you could do is also replicate this in the roof of the mouth using black wool but again that's optional. So yeah that's pretty much the inside of the mouth complete as you can see has a very very nice effect on the overall quality of the build and that leaves us with two more things now which is the ears and the hat so let's get them out the way nice and swiftly. So for the ears we're going to come to the top of the head we're going to leave one block on the left side and we're going to go up two using our grey concrete. Now behind this we're also going to go up two so it's now two thick. Now on the front layer we're going to go two to the left, down two and to the right one. And in this middle block we're going to place one cyan. Now on the rear side we're going to repeat this pattern however rather than placing cyan we're just going to place nothing but grey concrete. Now we repeat this on the right side. So on the right side we leave one block, go up two. Behind it, two. On the front one, we go two to the right, down two, to the left one, and in the middle, one cyan. Behind it, we're going to repeat this again using grey concrete, but not placing the cyan. And that's the left and right ear. Now for the final step, which is the hat, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our red concrete and our red wall. In line with the second layer of the ears, so not the first, the second, aka the third layer of the head, we're going to leave one block and place four red concrete, and behind this place three more layers of four red concrete, so that's now a 4x4 four four square, as you can see, with two blocks diagonal in each corner between the hat and the side of the head. Now in the centre of this, we're going to place a 2x2 two two square of red wall, and on top of that, a 2x2 two two square of red concrete, and that's going to be your hat. It's as simple as that. Of course, we can't get a perfect colouring uh, match with the actual hat and bow tie itself but we're going for red just with a bit of red wool to add a bit of shading a bit of texture and just a bit of detail and once you've done that that is the statue complete again i'll add the little buttons onto the face just to show you what it looks like with the freckles of course so that's kind of what it looks like with the freckles if you want to add it of course it does look kind of cool um but again i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel about it ideally they do need to be black for them to be freckles so uh it's not 100 percent match but of course we don't have black buttons yet so uh that's the best we can do but apart from that, that is the statue complete. Again, I really do hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, if you did, definitely let me know by leaving a like on the video and commenting down below any suggestions for future ones. Say what you want to see next. And of course, let me know generally overall what you're feeling about the video. So uh, yeah, apart from that, if you did enjoy, definitely consider subscribing. Of course, hit the notification bell because YouTube is a bit iffy whether it actually wants to tell you whether i upload so that's not cool uh alternatively again follow me on twitter at going bear games i tweet out every single time and also tweet me a picture of you with the build in your world i'll give you a nice like nice retweet and i do appreciate it when you guys send it to me and uh I, again it's really nice just to see so apart from that again thank you very much for watching until next time my name has been tom Gummy and goodbye Eyes in the sky, gazing far. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light